it's time or the talk is done, you know. Wow, what the hell is that? He's just a different dude. конечно нудно сейчас конференция пройдет и уже будет попроще это болтовня ну так надо я надеюсь что горячо будет ну как как зрителям не хочется чтобы было горячо Pressure for me, no. It's these guys that have got to worry about the pressure. But no, no good. Ready to go with a bit of luck. I'm sure you're happy to be here, right? Always. I uh, I hope we can get through the press conference quick and get to the arm wrestling. Let's go. That's what people have come to see. It's time or the talk is done, you know. I think this is um, one of the best super match cards established. If you look at the depth of the guys that are on this card, there's so many very, very interesting matches. And the, I think um, listening to Engin recently, he's said many times that he believes this is probably the best card he's done. Uh, for me, it's hard to differentiate because there's been a lot of excellent cards. And I'm, I suppose I'm a little bit of an outlier, a bit of a freak. I, I, I mean, here, a lot of people are probably most highly anticipating the main event. For me, ah, there's a couple of matches on here that I, I love just as much, particularly Ongabayev and Todd Hutchins. Tom Silva! From the main event's perspective, I hope it delivers on the hype. I kind of try to piece matches together in my mind, and I see this has a lot of potential for a very ugly match, very, very drawn out. I think there's a lot of emotion involved for both guys, but also I think both men will see this to a degree as a bit of a legacy match, a must-win match. And that can create, particularly when you've got two guys who are genuine warriors and intelligent arm wrestlers. Dennis and Devon both fall into that category. <clears throat> and I believe both have various areas they can win. And I think that that whole conundrum will manifest itself into a situation where both men will go out on the shield to win this. In my mind, when I, when I try to chart the match, I see that round one, 
will be very, very pivotal. And I think that a lot of, a lot of uh, the story will be told there. I think it's a very closely contested match. All the talk and the bravado and the selling the match and all this aside, when the guys get into there and they first grip, they're going to immediately download a great deal of information. And I think at that point in time, on that first hit, never mind if it goes to strap, I think the first hit will tell us all a great deal. And I see that both men probably will en end up going defensive early, leave a little bit in the tank, and then we might see the match go from ugly to more orthodox as the rounds progress. I'm going to say I've got Devon as a slight favourite, and I'll tell you why. I think he's got a lot of match experience recently at a very, very high level, and I think that is an important thing. Endurance-wise, mm, I think Devon has an edge there. And I think that will be pivotal because in my mind, I think that there will be a very even playing field in key areas of strength. I think if you were looking at the match from a top end red line power, I think Devon is probably, De Devon is probably at a disadvantage there. I think Dennis is the stronger man. Structurally, I think Dennis is a unique entity in the sport of arm wrestling. Certainly that's how I see him. I think even with Levan, you've got a very different individual. You've got a guy who is extremely powerful and fluid arm wrestler. With Dennis, I think less fluidity, but more rigidity. When you just grip Dennis, you immediately, straight away, anybody will feel that he's structurally different. As soon as you grip his hand, you feel, wow, what the hell is that? He's just a different dude. And I think that presents tremendous danger. I mean, for me, ideal scenario, it's 2-2 two, two screamers. We see both guys get their position and we, I think for both athletes on reflection, it would be good if they both walk away from this thing feeling like they were able to show their best. Win or lose. If you, if you go to the bank and everything you've got is left on the table, what else can you ask? But at the end of the day, as I said at the start, I don't think these guys are too much different in the, and what I mean by that is, the level of investment they have in this sport in different ways in different paths but they've invested to the absolute maximum of their potential does anybody need more evidence of, of that from dennis's perspective the guy was seriously ill only a couple of years ago thankfully he's back in the game and it's quite exciting to see his journey back up through the ranks from my perspective obviously i'm biased i can't help but be biased i i, I make no bones about that I, i'm I would like to see uh, Devon win the match. Devon's my friend. Uh, who do I think will win? I think Devon, close, real close. Where I see Dennis being a major threat is the sort of herky-jerky style of hits that he does. So he will, sometimes you'll see him get in, in trouble in matches and Dennis will sort of regather himself. He'll stay relaxed. He'll come up, he'll set himself again and then there'll be a very unorthodox, strangely timed, very aggressive, violent attack. And that's a problem. Because with Devon, he's a very fluid arm wrestler. He arm wrestles in lines and in fluid motion, like a conductor. I've got it 55, 45 in favor of Devon. I could be wrong. We'll see. The talk is over, the time is now. If you've not got your pick, have you? Link is in the description. Get over there. Why the fifth that you this goes out tomorrow night here in Pending. It's on. Sit playing cop. Alright. East versus West 10.